Unfortunately, Vectorizer AI has become a paid service. However, I've got a free alternative for you that you can even use in bulk to turn your AI images into vector files. And at the end of this video, I'll do a comparison between this new free alternative and the original Vectorizer AI. So here we are on vectorizer.com. It says this is the world's only free online tracer without registration or software installation. That's really promising. Click the upload button and select up to 20 raster files um, that you wish to vectorize. So 20 is quite a lot. Very simple, straightforward site. I'm going to give you an example with five mushroom AI graphics right here that were generated in mid journey and as you can see it's already finished converting these i can now click on download all and then it's going to save a zip file to your device and then you have to extract that zip file to see all of your svg images so let me open one of these up in illustrator to take a closer look there we go we can see right here that this is definitely a vector you can move the shapes around you can recolor them if you wanted to and um, i can also easily delete the background move this off the artboard and you know as you can see we've got a pretty decent vector now this is a very very simple like flat graphic so in that case it's easier to turn it into a vector i suppose but that's why i've also done a comparison with this sunset graphic um, with a car and we've got on the left hand side vectorizer.com so this new free alternative and on the other side the previous tool vectorizer.ai that i've been recommending to this date Whilst I'm zoomed out, you can't really see a difference. Um, so the left side is slightly blurrier, um, as far as I can tell, but that probably won't even come through when you watch this on YouTube. So what I've done is I've also zoomed in a bit right here to take a closer look. So if we focus on the bonnet, um, especially on this outline right here, you can see if you compare these side by side that the paid vectorizer tool has a way smoother outline over here. This looks a lot better than this. So there is definitely advantages to using vectorizer.ai and paying for the subscription. But I think the left side, you know, it's not that much worse considering this is now free um, and you can use it in bulk. If you zoom out, like you can barely tell the difference. So it's up to you whether you want to invest into slightly better results or if you're happy with this free version, I'm probably going to keep using vectorizer.ai because I do like it quite a lot and you also have a bit more control over the output. If you don't want to pay for vectorizing images or if you can't afford it, then vectorizer.com is a great alternative. I will leave a link to this site in the description. And by the way, I've also heard you can use Inkscape as a free alternative for vectorizing as well. I haven't tested that yet, but if you don't like vectorizer.com, maybe try out Inkscape. If it's a downloadable software, it's a bit of an alternative to um, Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to see me make a video about that vectorizer feature in the future, then let me know in the comments down below. I hope I was able to help you out with this video. And if you want to learn one of the easiest side hustles for 2024, then make sure to check out this video next.